What is up, everybody? Good morning and welcome to Gym Class with Adam. I am Coach Adam, and I got that Friday feeling. I know that Fridays are totally different now that we're all schooling from home and working from home, but there is something really special about a weekend, isn't there? Mm, got that Friday feeling. If you got that Friday feeling, clap twice. Come on, clap twice if you got that Friday feeling. <laughs> oh, what's up, Gabe? Good to have you here, buddy. It means the world. Gabe, what grade are you in? Shout us out, let us know where you're at. Beautiful, good. What's up, Caleb? How you doing? <laughs> Stephanie, how are you? Welcome, Stephanie, good to see you. Everybody, it's so nice to have you here. If you don't have your water, run and get it. Sixth grade, oh man, I remember sixth grade like it was yesterday. It was so fun. I know it's totally different for you right now with everything that's going on. I'm really sorry about that, but I'm so psyched to have you here in this class. All right, if you don't have your water, pause this video, go get some water, super key. This is like plugging your phone into an outlet, charge you right up. Harry, Anna, Mama Nancy, good to see you. What's up? All right, before we start, I'm gonna answer some questions from you. Uh, it seems that you really like this, getting a lot of really, really, great, uh, really great questions, and so pull them up, we'll answer them totally at random. Hopefully, if I'm answering your question, you're here in gym class today. All right, uh, let's see what we got. And also, if you could, when you send in questions, if you could put your grade along with your name or even in the subject line, that'll help me make sure that I'm answering it in the right class, right? Because in the morning, we have class for kindergarten through third grade, and then this class is fourth through sixth. Um, so just helpful. Uh, most of you are doing that already, but I just want to flag it. Okay, let's see here. All right, first question. Dear Coach Adam, uh, this is from Robin in Portland. Early morning West Coast crew, I love it. Okay, Robin Portland asks, uh, I tried your smoothie recipe and it was delicious. My mom and dad had one too and loved it. My dad doesn't normally eat a lot of vegetables and he couldn't believe that there was spinach in it. Just wanted to say thank you. Uh, we have it almost every morning now. So cool. Um, and thank you for gym class. Robin in Portland. Okay, not so much a question there, more of a, a cool shout out and a thank you. So thank you for your kind words. I'm glad you like the smoothie. Uh, if anybody's watching and you want some free smoothie recipes, I have an entire collection of them. Just go to seven day green smoothie challenge com and you could download uh, like a week long recipe book for with like seven different smoothies in it, all really delicious. Uh, people love them and totally free, nothing to buy there. Uh, my gift to you. All right, next question, we shall see. Uh, this is from Stephanie in Virginia. Uh, Coach Adam, dear, dear Coach Adam, uh, my older brother wants to do gym class too, but he's in eighth grade. Would that be okay for him? Absolutely, absolutely, Stephanie. Please tell your, uh, your older brother that he's more than welcome to come, first of all. I would love to have him. And it's also entirely appropriate for him as well. He might even find it super challenging. Um, I know that there are kids in high school, actually, that do gym class with us, the fourth through sixth grade um, class, and they love it. So it's totally age appropriate and a lot of fun. So bring him on in. Uh, thanks for the question. Yeah, anybody asking. And if you have a question that you want me to answer in Gym Class with Adam, send me an email, coachadam at gymclasswithadam.com. That's coachadam at gymclasswithadam.com. And please make sure you include your grade so that I know which class to answer your question in. Or if you just want to shout out and say hi. All right, guys, let's get moving. Guys, girls, people of all ages, we are going to start off with a little high five. But before we do, make sure you've got your water, make sure your space is clear and clean, nothing to bump into, nothing to knock over, and if you're wearing shoes, kick them off. All right, first game, high five. Sit flat on your butt, feet on the floor, hands on the floor. I am gonna call out right hand, left hand, right foot, left foot. Depending on what I call out, that's what you're gonna hit me with. So if I say right hand, bow, right hand. If I say left hand, Bow, left hand. If I say right foot, bang, right foot. If I say left foot, bang, left foot. Now I want you to get it up nice and high and I want you to connect. I wanna feel my hand or my foot stinging, stinging, all right? You down, you ready to rock? 
All right, sit it flat down, hands and feet on the floor. Get your butt up, lift your butt up off the floor. And right hand, bow, yes. Left hand, bow, yes. Right foot, boom, up high. Left foot, boom, up high. Left foot, boom, yes. Right foot, boom, left foot, boom. Right foot, boom, left hand, pow. Right hand, slap, right hand, slap. Left hand, slap, up high, come on. Right foot, up, left foot, up. Right foot, come on, get up nice and high. Nick it back, pull it back, kick, bow, slap, that's it. Up, up, left foot, up, nice and high, nice and high, lift it up high. Pull your knee back, kick, boom, connect, that's it. Stay up with me, come on, keep that butt up. Right hand, boom, left hand, pow, left hand, bow. Right hand, slap, butt down. Woo! All right, awesome job. Grab a quick drink of water. We're gonna play that again, but this time, I'm gonna move around, okay? I'm gonna move around, and I'm gonna hold my hand or my foot in the air, and if it stays up in the air, you just gotta keep slapping it. And if I move it, you need to move too, right? We need to make this real, okay? All right, flat on the floor, butt flat on the floor, Feet flat on the floor, hands flat on the floor. Nice deep breath into that balloon. Nice deep breath out. Lift that butt up. Right hand. That's it, come on, keep slapping it. Bow, 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 stay with me. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Can you get it? Can you get it? Where are you at? Where are you at? Can you get it? Come on, that's it, left hand up, over. Come on, get it, work for it. Come on, that's it, just keep hitting it, keep that butt up, balancing on that one arm. Come on, stay with me. Down, right foot, that's it, that's it, keep it up, keep it up. Come on, just keep kicking, keep kicking, keep kicking, get it up nice and high. Left foot, that's it, up nice and high. Come on, just keep kicking, I'm holding. I'm holding right here for you. Up, what, yeah, come on, up, down, stay up. Right hand, left hand, right hand. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. Stay with me, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, right foot. Oh, I gotcha, left foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Listen, pay attention, right foot. Oh, come on, can you get me? Can you get me? Stay up, you got this. Down, left foot, come on, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me, and down, butt flat, Woo! awesome job, awesome job. Nice deep breath into that balloon, breathe it all out. Deep breath into that balloon, breathe it all out. One more time, nice deep breath, fill that balloon up. Breathe it all out. Empty that balloon. Hey Chris, what's up buddy? Thanks for being here with us. Yeah, that was challenging. <laughs> it's good, good. When, we have to, when we're forced to balance like that, all those muscles, all those muscles up in here, all those muscles up in here, they gotta work overtime to keep us balanced. <laughs> yeah, it was hard. Nancy thought it was fun. Kylie thought it was fun too. Roger liked the kicks. Yeah, I feel you. It's hard though, right? Good, in a good way. It's good to be challenged. All right, grab a drink of water and we're gonna play four, three, two, one. So my water is hiding. Grab that water, bring it in, bring it on in. Come on, bring it on in, nice and close. Cheers. Cheers, let me hear it, cheers. Yeah. So good, perfect temperature today. Not too cold, not too warm, just right, nice and chilly. Okay, shake out your arms and legs. Here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna move around our space. I'll tell you how we're gonna move, but we're just gonna move around and you're gonna listen carefully. And I'm gonna call out four, or three, or two, or one. Based on the number that I call out, that's how many points of contact you need to have with the floor, okay? 
It could be any points of contact you want, but you need to have, if I say one, you need one point of contact on the floor. So that might mean that you're just balancing on one foot. If you're good like that, maybe it means you're balancing on one hand. That's not for me, at least not yet, <laughs> right? So if I say two, two points of contact on the floor. Now here's the thing, it doesn't have to mean your hands and feet. If I say two, it could be your shoulder and your knee. Balancing on your shoulder and knee. Notice how difficult that is. I just went right over, but that's good. Challenge yourself, right? See if you can get creative. See if you could really challenge yourself with those points of contact beyond just your hands and feet. All right, so we're gonna start off skipping. So just skip around in a circle in your space. Swinging your arms, driving your knees up. Nice, good. Stay in that skipping pattern in a nice circle. Lift up your chest, look forward. Don't look at the floor, I want you to look forward. Good. Swing those arms a little harder and drive your knees a little higher. That's it. Check it out, like that. That's it, stay up. Two, down, hold it. Hold it, maybe you're just standing like this. That's cool too. Hold it, wherever you are, hold it. Two points of contact. And skip. That's it. Lift up, lift up, lift up, nice and tall like a mountain. Nice proud chest. I want you to imagine that you're peeling your shirt back and revealing that superhero logo underneath. Open it up and skip. That's it. Nice circle. Driving those arms. Three points. That's it, that's it, three points. Make a decision and then act fast. Get those three points of contact on the floor. Hold, hold. Who knows how long you'll have to hold. So you gotta listen. Skip. That's it, there you go. Just like that in a circle. And now I want you to start a skip in a figure eight. So trace a figure eight, the number eight on the floor. Going around and over, driving those arms, driving those knees. That's it, there you go, and figure eight, just keep working around. Listen carefully. One, one point of contact, hit it. What does that look like? Maybe we're here? How are we? Make a decision and stick to it. Stay with it, hold. Hold, hold, longer you hold, the more challenging it gets. Stay focused, stay focused, feel your single point of contact ground into the floor. The rest of your body strong, but gentle. And now skip backwards, backwards, backwards in a circle. That's it, good, keep your gaze up, right? Just skipping backwards. Keep your, keep your eyes up. Don't look at the floor, look up. And if you're in the room with other people, you have to navigate each other, right? Be aware of your space. Just skipping backwards. Good, yeah, good, that looks great. How's that feel? Stay with it, stay with it. Three, three points down on the floor. That's it, there you go. Come on, get creative. Maybe it's two elbows and one foot. Maybe it's two knees and one hand. Mix it up and hold, hold, hold strong, hold strong. Three, two, one, break. Good job, awesome work. All right, cool. Shake it out, grab a drink of water. We're gonna move right into a game of body gloss. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your nose. Good, 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 good. Okay, quick drink of water. Now you've played Body Boss before. If you've been in gym class with Adam, there's a very good chance. I love this game. We're gonna add an element of challenge to this and we're gonna work in the way that feels best for our bodies. So here's how Body Boss works. We're gonna do 
a different move for 20 seconds. So we're gonna pick a move, we're gonna do it for 20 seconds. Then, and we're gonna track how many points we get. Each time we do the move, that's a point, okay? You wanna get as many points as you can in the time allotted while staying safe, moving safely, right? Don't wanna go crazy and hurt yourself, right? So you wanna go fast and you wanna be strong, but you want it to be controlled. Rack up those points, then we're gonna take a rest and we're gonna do it again and we're gonna to try to get even more points. Does that make sense? All right, so the first move is gonna be a squat with a toe touch. So stand with your feet together, arms by your sides. You're gonna hop your feet out, squat down, touch opposite toes with opposite hands, jump back up. Hop your feet out, touch down opposite toes with opposite hands, jump back up. Each time you touch down, that's one point. Jump out, butt down, Touch your toes, back up. Make sense? Let me see it once. Stand with your feet together. Hold on, pay attention. Stand with your feet together. Hop your feet out. Reach down, touch opposite toes. Come up and bring your legs together. Hop your feet out, reach down, touch opposite toes. Come up, hop your feet together. Good, absolutely fantastic. Feels good to move like that, right? Good, okay, so. Feet together, let's do it twice together and then I'm gonna put time on the clock. Hop it out, touch it down. Hop it together, stand back up. Apart, touch down, up and together. Good, okay, 30 seconds on the clock. No, 20 seconds on the clock. See how many of those points you can get. Three, two, stand up nice and tall. <laughs> there you go, nice and tall, ready to rock? Get ready, get set, go. Hop apart and together. Apart, together. Apart, together. Apart, together. Every time you come down, look at your toes. The toes that you're touching, I want you to look at those and then look at me when you come back up. Boom, that's it, come on. Stay with it, stay with it, count those points. You only have three seconds left. Two, one, break. You. how'd that feel? Good. A little bit of a challenge, that heart rate is coming up a little bit. Nice, we're gonna rest for a bit, grab yourself a drink of water, and then we're gonna do it again. We're gonna try to rack up a little more, a couple more points. Good, I know you can do this, I believe in you. You got this. How'd that feel, how'd you do? Gabe coming through with 22, strong, love it. Good, Jacob, 15, nice Jacob, nice. Kylie, 17, awesome, Harry, 12. Anna and Nancy got 15. Ryan. Ryan got 16. <sighs> awesome job. Adam, 23. 23, Adam. Michael Jordan's number. There's a documentary out right now on Michael Jordan. If you don't know who he is, uh -huh. that's okay. But look into it. Um, Abdo, 15. Great job. Great job. Uh, Stephanie, 20. Great, Stephanie. Awesome, good. Take a nice deep breath in, nice deep breath out. Feel a moment of gratitude for that work you just did. Pretty awesome. Guess what you're gonna do now? Come on, let me hear it. Let me hear it, what are you gonna do now? Better than before, that's right. Yes, good, excellent. That's the intention, that's the goal. I want you to try your best and that's all that matters. All right, take it back into the center of the room. Getting ready to rock, shake out your legs, shake out your arms, roll your shoulders up and back. Roll your shoulders up and forward. Shrug your shoulders up and drop them by your sides. Shrug your shoulders up, drop them by your sides, good. Pedal through your feet a few times. Excellent, okay, focus. Stand up nice and tall, look me dead in the eye. I'm gonna show you the move one more time just so it's fresh in your mind, okay? Don't do it with me, just watch. Hop your feet apart. Touch down, hop your feet together, look at me. Notice how every time I come down, I'm looking at my toes as I touch them, and then I'm looking at you when I come back up. Nice and quick, nice and strong. Let me see you do it once. Down, up, down, up. Beautiful, all right. 20 seconds on the clock, you ready to crush this? Yes, I love it. Get ready, get set, go. That's it, make sure that your form is clean. Working strong, working smart. That's it, come on, come on, you got this. Apart, together, apart, together. Look down at those toes, look back up at me. 
Come on, keep that form right. Strong in your legs, nice stable base. Come on, you're faster than that. Let's go a little bit faster. You got this, come on, five seconds left. Three, two, one, break. You Rock and roll, how'd that feel? Feel good? Feel hard? Yeah. Kylie felt like that was easier. Yeah, yeah. Kylie, do you know why that probably is? Your central nervous system is prepared for what's to come. It's active and it's, when it's ready to activate now, boom, you're ready to go. So it kind of feels like you're in that flow a little bit more. Great work. All right, Gabe, 31 and you feel sweaty after the two runs. Amazing. That's great growth. Harry and Anna, 19, Nancy, 20. Dave, 15 on the first, 22 on the second. Great job. All right, shake it out. A couple more, a couple more real quick, real quick, and then we're going to move into it. Adam, 30. Good job. Great job. Most importantly, how do you feel? Amazing. Make a fist with the right hand, put it over your heart. Two taps, two taps, two taps. I cannot wait to do that together with you in person one day. Okay, take it on back, right in the center of your room. This time, the move is a four second push-up. Four second push-up. So here's how this looks like. You're gonna start either on your hands and toes or your hands and knees, whatever feels best for you. But wherever you're starting, you're gonna take four seconds to lower your body all the way down until your chest touches the floor, and then you're gonna push up as fast and hard as you can. So all of us are gonna take four seconds to come down. But where things might get interesting is when we come back up. How fast can you get back up? The faster you get back up, the sooner you can start coming back down. Now, if you wanna lower from your toes and then put your knees on the floor to push back up, that's okay too. It's perfectly normal for this particular exercise to be a real challenge for a lot of us. So I want you to respect that. Know where you're starting now is not where you're gonna end up tomorrow, the next day, the next day. As long as we keep putting in that consistent effort, we can change in a positive way, okay? So here's what I mean by lowering from your toes and raising from your knees. You might lower like this, four, three, two, one, and drop your knees and push back up. Step back, four, three, two, one, lower your knees, push back up. Whatever works for you, make that decision. Every time you push back up to the top, that's one point. You got it? Makes sense. All right, players, take your mark. 20 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, hit it. Make it a real four seconds. Don't cheat. Four, three, two, one, explode up. That's it. Good, 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 good. That's it. Keep your eyes on the ground. That's it. Four seconds to lower down. Drive back up as fast and hard as you can. That's it. Come on, you have five seconds left. Three, two, one, break. Good job, nice. How'd that feel? How'd we do? How'd we do? Adam got 11. Nice, Adam. Really nice, really nice. Steph got three. Three, good, Steph. Now, wherever you are right now, I want you to know that that's your starting number, okay? That's your starting number. And each time we do this, we get a little bit better. Now, keep in mind, when we do this again, and we're gonna do this again in just a little bit, we're gonna let our energy systems restore, we're gonna get them charged back up. Harry got five, Nancy got seven, Anna got nine. Yeah, Gabe got nine, feel like your arms got a good workout. Excellent, yeah, they definitely did. Right, so now I want you to keep something in mind. In this next round, the rules stay the same. I want you to set your intention on getting more points, okay? That's the deal. You can change up the way you go about it if you want, right? If you lowered from your toes and then raised from your knees, you can change that up if you want. But I would really prefer that whatever you did the first time, you do the same thing this time. You need a certain level of consistency in order to get that growth. Does that make sense? 
Cool. Anybody tell me which muscles are working to do these push-ups? Adam, your arms. Yeah. Yes, Adam, for sure. Yep. Abdel got 12. I love it. Liam, arms. Yeah, arms are working. Definitely. Gabe called that out. Feels like his arms got a good workout. So here's the deal. A lot of different muscles actually work when we're doing a push-up. It is our arms, but it's really one particular part of our arms. It's our triceps. Three muscles in the back of our arms. Tricep. Those are working. The muscles in our chest are working. These are your pectorals, your pecs, right? And then something else is working as well. The fronts of your shoulders. These are called your deltoids. Your shoulder is made up of three different muscles. Three different muscles. There is the anterior deltoid. There is the posterior deltoid. I should be wearing a tank top, I guess. And then there is your medial deltoid. All three muscles in your shoulder. Pretty crazy, right? They're three individual muscles. But when you're doing that push-up, it's the anterior deltoid or the front of your shoulder that's doing the work. So your chest, fronts of your shoulders, backs of your arms. Three different muscles. Not to mention all of the muscles in your abs, those core muscles. And then if you're squeezing everything else, all the muscles in your legs are working. It's kind of a total body exercise, but what's really getting the emphasis, your chest, backs of your arms, fronts of your shoulders. Cool, right? Awesome to get to know your body. Okay, it's go time. Players, take your mark. See that number in your head. Make a decision. What number are you gonna get? What number do you wanna get? I wanna hear it, say it out loud. Yes, good, good. I believe you can do it. Do you believe you could do it? I'm gonna try your best. Okay, players, take your mark. Three, two, one, hit it! Four seconds, lower, four, three, two, one. Drive up as fast and strong as you can. Come on, you got this. Yes, just like that, stay with it. Come on, four real seconds to lower. Don't cheat your reps. That's it, four total seconds to get to the ground and then drive back up like you're trying to put your hands through the floor. That's it, there you go, come on. You have five seconds left, use them. Come on, let's go, you're stronger than this. Believe that you are, I know that you are. You have three, two, one, break. Woo! Good job, feels good. Nothing like a good push-up. <laughs> awesome, shake out your arms, and now I want you to reach out wide, 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 like imagine somebody had a rope around each, each wrist and was pulling you in opposite directions. And now draw your arms back, all the way back. Turn your palms up to the sky. That's it. Tuck your butt under, tuck your butt under. Because if you're doing this, you're probably looking like this right now. I want you to pull your butt under so you're nice and straight and then pull those arms back. Good, drop them by your sides, shake it out. Nancy, 11, Harry, 12, Anna, 14. Woo, strong, come on, let me see those guns. Let me see them, yes, beautiful. Gabe, 11, good man, awesome. Adam, 12, cool, great work. Liam, six, good job, Liam. Steph, <laughs> Steph got 14, awesome job, Steph. Gabe was aiming for 10. Incredible how we can surprise ourselves sometimes, right? Beautiful work. All right, for this next move, T-Birds. T-Birds, we're gonna lie flat on our stomach with our arms out like a T. Thumbs up, thumbs face in the sky. Everything is gonna remain on the ground except for the arms. When I say go, you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together to lift up your arms. Okay, I want you to look at the floor. Don't look up, you're gonna be, you're naturally just gonna wanna look forward, but I want you to look at the floor and then you're gonna bring your arms back down and then squeeze to bring them back up as high as you can, high as you can. Touch back down, squeeze back up. Touch back down, squeeze back up. Every time you come up, that's a point, okay? So we're gonna squeeze up. Now, the feet stay on the ground, your knees stay on the ground, your hips stay on the ground. All that's working here are those muscles in your upper back. So I want you to imagine that you're trying to crack a walnut between your shoulder blades. Lifting up, touching down. Lifting up, touching down. 20 seconds, get as many as you can. You ready to rock? Any, any questions? No, it's clear, right? T-Birds. All right, T-Birds, take your mark. 
Belly flat on the floor, arms out in a T, thumbs up. Getting ready to crack those walnuts in three, two, one, hit it. That's it. Squeeze those shoulders and then come back down. Squeeze those shoulders, come back down. Squeeze those shoulders, come back down. Really squeeze hard. Break that nut. It doesn't want to crack. Make that, make that walnut crack right in half with those shoulder blades. Squeeze down, squeeze down. Come on, you got this. Three seconds left. Two, one, break. Woo! Awesome work, awesome work. I could see you almost taking off. <laughs> good, good. We're gonna take a break here, grab a drink of water, and then we are gonna blow those numbers out of the park. Cheers, bring it in, come on, cheers. Yes. Nice deep breath into your belly. Nice deep breath out. Nice deep breath into the belly. Nice full breath out. How's that feel? 14 from Anna. Nine from Harry. 10 from Nancy. Great. Feels good. Mm. Kylie, 16. Right on. Adam, 21. Good job, Adam. Nice. Dante. Uh, Dante, what's up? How many did you get? Abdo, 15. Dante, 13. Nice job. All right. Gabe, coming through, 16. Bow, awesome. All right, couple more, couple more, couple more shares. Benjamin, 14. Nice job, Benj. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Hi. Hello. What's up? Early morning West Coast crew. I see you. Two, two taps. I love it. Yes. Two taps. All right. Good. Okay. Players, take your mark. Flat on your belly. Arms out to the side in a T. Thumbs up. Getting ready to crack that walnut with the shoulder blades. Crack that walnut with the shoulder blades. Nice. Make it clean. Don't just go crazy like this, right? You want to make it clean. Really smash that walnut into dust. You can do this. All right, look at the ground, getting ready to rock. In three, two, one, hit it. That's it, there you go, come on. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, take the hands back to the floor. Squeeze them together, back to the floor. Nice clean reps. Hear that walnut cracking, it's resisting, but it is no match for the strength of your upper back. You got this. Smash that walnut to smithereens. Come on, come on, come on, stay with me. Stay with me, keep working, you have five seconds left. Let's go, come on, come on, come on Harry, come on Nancy, come on Anna, let's go Gabe, come on Abdo, Adam I see you, come on, and break. Good, whoo, -hoo -hoo -hoo. back is on fire, yes. Good, shake it out, grab yourself a glass of water, drink of water, big old swig. Feels so good, how'd we do? How'd we do and how are we feeling? Good? Yes, all right. Jake, 13 first round, 17 second round. Awesome, Caleb, nine, 14, yeah. Steph, 17, yeah, there we go. Dante, 19, wonderful work. Great improvement, good. All right, excellent. Nice, everybody take a nice deep breath in your belly. Nice deep breath out. And we are gonna finish up gym class with a sprint to the finish line. Cave 39, my back is on fire. I love it, beautiful thing. <laughs> you get distracted, so you're not sure if your counts are right. But Anna, 17, Harry, 22, Nancy, I think that said 20. Wonderful work, Liam. Lost track, but I think I did better. Great job, Liam, I'm proud of you, buddy. Sometimes we lose track, but I want you to work your mind as much as you're working your body. Focus on keeping track of those numbers if you can. Just do your best. Good, it feels so good for that back to be on fire, right? We are gonna finish this out with a sprint to the finish line, okay? We're gonna do it together, we're only gonna do one round, and we're gonna do it together. But here's how this works. Get as far away from your screen as possible, Okay? And then actually I changed my mind. Get as close to your screen as possible. 
close to your screen as you can without bumping into it or hurting your eyes, okay? We are going to start on our knee and our foot with our hands in line with our toes. We're gonna lift our butt up into the air, we're gonna look forward, and we are going to use our imaginations to see that we're in a lane, like a, if you've ever seen the Olympics when they're sprinting, right? You see Usain Bolt running down that lane, that's what I want you to see, and at the end of that lane is a finish tape. I want you to get there before me. I know that you can do it, okay? So we're gonna pop up and we're gonna sprint in place. That's important. We're gonna sprint in place as fast as we can for just 20 seconds, okay? Can you get to that finish line before me in 20 seconds? Can you do it? Do you believe you can? I believe you can. Make that fist, hand over your heart. Two taps, two taps, two taps. Take your mark. Knee down, foot down, fingers in line with your toes. Runners, lift your hips, butt up in the air, look forward, getting ready to sprint to that finish line, in place, in three, two, one, go! That's it, up, oh, pump those arms. Watch the way my arms are working. My thumb is going from my cheek to my butt cheek. My cheek to my butt cheek. My knees are pumping, my feet are driving into the floor. Come on, this is a sprint, not a marathon. Let's go, come on, you're faster than this. Oh, I see that finish tape getting closer. Oh, you're right neck and neck with me. You're breaking forward. And, oh, done. <laughs> Crushed it. <sighs> Had a feeling you could beat me. Why? Because you are strong and fast and you believe in yourself. Great work. Nice deep breath in your belly. Let it all out. Get yourself a drink of water. You huffing, you puffing. Ready to blow a house down? <laughs> mm. ah, feels good. Excellent. All right, team, bring it in. Bring it in. Nice and close. Heads down. Reach your arms around. And I want you to imagine that you're putting your arms around the backs and shoulders of your teammates. Okay, we're all forming one big circle. Close your eyes. Head down. Put your arms around the shoulders. Feel your arms. Feel your arms draped over the shoulders of a teammate to your left and a teammate to your right. If you have people in your home with you right now, you could do this with them, but everyone needs to imagine that we are one giant circle of teammates. Eyes are closed. Nice. Feel everybody's back moving. They're huffing and puffing from that race. So proud of ourselves. So proud of each other. So grateful that we're able to move like this. Mmm, yeah, good, nice. Keep those eyes closed. Nice, give your teammate a nice squeeze. Squeeze their shoulder, feel that? Excellent. Let them know how proud you are of them. Hear them tell you how proud they are of you. How grateful they are to have you on their team. Good. All right, drop your arms by your side, stand up nice and tall. Shake out your arms. Drop your head to your left shoulder. Breathe. Take your head back to center. Drop your head to your right shoulder. Breathe. Take your head back to center. Reach up nice and tall. Spread your fingers wide like the leaves on a tree. And then dive forward. Bending at your hips and just hang over here. Hang over at your hips. Let your head be heavy, kind of like a rag doll. Just hang over. Let the backs of your legs stretch out. Maybe you feel a stretch in your lower back. Take your fingertips and press into the tops of your feet. That's it, just kind of giving yourself a massage right on the tops of your feet. Your ankles backs of your legs. Good. Bend your knees and then press your feet into the floor. Roll up very slowly. All the way up. Let your head be the last thing to come up. Take a nice deep breath in. And then when you exhale, I want you to flutter your lips like a horse. Do that two more times. One more time. 
good. Gets rid of all that tension in your jaw, right? Ever notice that? When you're, when you're really focused on something, sometimes you cleanse your teeth or you get tense in your jaw. All those little muscles, it's important to just relax them. We have all these tiny little muscles that are responsible for so much. It's important to give them all some attention and care. All right, stand with your feet flat on the floor. Reach your head up nice and tall like a mountain. Close your eyes. And just notice how it feels every time you breathe in and every time you breathe out. Where do you notice that most? Is it at your nose, your chest, your stomach? There's no wrong answer. Wherever you feel it is right. And see if you can stay there for just a few moments, noticing the feeling as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Follow your breath all the way in. And then follow your breath all the way out to that very last moment. Noticing how it comes in and goes out without you having to do anything at all. And you can just notice that feeling Enjoying a couple moments of silence, how nice that is. I think it's really important to spend just time in silence, especially when things around us can be so noisy. It's good to just sit and enjoy some quiet. Staying with the feeling of your breath as it comes in, as it goes out, eyes closed. And if your mind wanders off to think about something else, that's perfectly normal. That's what our minds do. But how awesome is it that we can just choose to bring our attention right back to the feeling of the breath. That minute that you notice your mind has wandered off, you can just choose to bring it right back. And start again. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, really good. And now as you breathe in, think the words, I am strong. And as you breathe out, think the words, I am kind. Breathing in, I am strong. Breathing out, I am kind. Let's do that a couple times on our own in silence together right now. Good. Really, really good. And now just gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. Softly bend your knees. Straighten them back up. Roll your shoulders backwards, tiny little circles. And then very slowly, very gently, open your eyes. How do you feel? <laughs> Make that fist with your right hand, put it over your heart. Two taps, two taps, two taps. It is such a pleasure to spend this time here with you. I treasure it so much. I'm so proud of the work that you did here today. I hope you're proud of yourself and all of your teammates. Enjoy the rest of the day. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you Monday morning in gym class. Peace.